What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Study Hall here on UFS University. My name's Tam, and I'm joined by this fantastic crew. We got Mason. Jacob. Travis. Into your mic. And uh, once again, my name's Tam. Uh, what Study Hall is for the Underworld is we take a bunch of your guys' UFS topics as well as some of our own, and we sit down and we discuss them for your amusement, entertainment, and knowledge. So with that said, before we get into uh, the, the topic, I want to give a big shout out to our sponsor of the week, and that is... Patreon.com slash TCG University. <laughs> if you if you like the uh, the content, please go out there and support uh, support us at one of the tier levels to get exclusive content or uh, gated content. Um, if you don't have any bucks to toss, that's totally chill. You can go out to YouTube.com, do all the cool YouTube stuff, subscribe, like, share, subscribe, um, hit the bell so you get those notifications. Um, topic four of the week um, is something that's a little uh, evergreen, if you would, and that is the concept, the idea of win more cards. What are win more cards and give me a, a, a few examples of win more cards so win more cards um they are cards that you don't necessarily have to have to win but effects are okay they're very costly and do a lot of amazing things but they're just worse than the basic cards that do basic things that could just win you the game totally they're flashy. They're, They're flashy. very flashy, yes. Um, some examples on my behalf, a lot of the assets of the new set, <laughs> um, like Shang uh, Hua's or Grows. Grows gets plus two to multiple, but yep, that means you had to have hit them with two other attacks for the multiple, for like the momentum anyways. So it's like, what's the point of having plus two to multiple when you can uh, just kill them without that? I misread that earlier. It's plus one to multiple or minus two to the multiple rating. So, so you can reduce whatever. your opponent's multiple Plus ratings. one to multiple still. That means yeah. you have to hit them with another attack. And Deadlock Enhanced gives plus two plus two. Cool. The only deadlock deadlock doesn't the exist. Game. That's the only Deadlock card in the entire set. Is it? Yeah. Huh. Neat. Raging Demon. Raging Very Demon is much. a win more card. <laughs> you do not need Raging Demon in any deck ever. Even if you if you went on UFS Ultra and said my deck's name is Raging Demon dot deck, you could play no copies of Raging Demon and be better than playing Raging Demon. Yes, <laughs> Raging Demon sucks. But Ra the Ring Man, I could easily play <laughs> Bloody Baptism instead. <laughs> that is a much better uh, evil attack for that deck. Right, right. Yeah, I mean, it, 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 it just, it just <laughs> I, is. On paper, in statistics-wise, Bloody Baptism is much better than that card. And that's exactly what we're talking about. Okay, with a different name. Actually, this card, I think, might actually be a win more card, but I love playing it. Uh, Ivy's Ultra Rare. Um, so, its name, I don't remember. Guilty something? Guilty Throne. It's a 7-3. Six mid for seven. So, like, just... By the time you can actually play it, your opponent can easily block it, so it's kind of useless. All it does is draw you specific cards, which you should already have to kill your opponent anyways. Probably. Um, that's just how I feel about it, and there's other ways of drawing those cards anyways in Ivy. You can use Merciless Master, stack your throws on top, and just draw them. So, I don't know. I think it's less of a win more and more of a build around, because you can compare that card like straight across the Trinity Geyser, and that was a build around card. Mm. They do almost the same yeah, thing. Yeah, but I never thought that was good ever. And that was a win more card as well. Trinity mm. Geyser is a win more card. I would say Trinity Geyser is a win more card. Mm. Yeah, because you could just play Tengu Dai if you don't Ta need so, to play so, that. So, so, there was, the, Trinity Geyser was designed for Terry Two Dot as a character. That was his card. And you yes. know how many people played that card competitively in Terry Two Dot? Zero. I mean, in the one character it was good in, it was not a win more card. Whoa, whoa. that card would have been sick in Takeda. Just saying. In Ringman, that like, was your kill condition. It but, was not a win. But there card. are so many better Ringman decks than Trinity Guys or Ringman. Was there? There were. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. I don't feel like there was. Way I one hundred percent think there is. Like like the issue the issue that you have with with Geyser Ringman is it's a six on a two. Um and so like the point of Trinity Geyser is to continue to like, play them out. Like it was and super so Geyser sucks. It was Geyser's not a good card. It was super cool to play Trinity Ringman and be like I on turn two I played three Trinity Geysers and I almost killed you. Yeah, but if you don't kill them, you lose. You can't do anything else the rest of the game. 
I mean, I mean, you could like loop one more Trinity guys onto them on the next turn if you lived, but like, but like, if they live through that many, I mean, they're gonna live. No I mean, what. yeah, but like, I mean, you just built like you what, could play seven an evil, you could play an evil I mean, ring man deck with it, bloody. Though, I think any car, any deck that requires this enhance to activate to work, like this bloody baptism ring man deck, or not bloody baptism, uh, Trinity, Trinity geyser. geyser ring man. If it's stopped by revoke, it's unplayable. It is a win more card. If a if a card is canceled from revoke. Or out of your league, it's a win more card. It it sh doesn't need to be there, because Damn. every attack of yours should be able to play around that. Mm. Do you have something you want to say? Because I I don't agree with that at all. I don't agree I don't with know. that at all either. I don't see why. So then every card in this game is a win more card. Calm down, Travis. <laughs> every card in this One. game is a win more card. Then. Here's why? here's because you okay. So the way you just worded that was every card that be can be stopped by out of your league or revoke. Is a win more card. That's literally what you just said. I meant a deck concept. Yeah. There I mean, there are a lot of decks there that can go. do that. That's still like there are a lot of decks that just get shut down by revoke. But, yeah, but those are win more decks. But yes. One yes. revoke. They're not top tier. But so here's the easy. If your opponent has one revoke, draws one revoke in their entire game, and that one revoke them playing it makes you lose the game, you're playing a win more deck. That's what Jake Because you lost to this guy having one card. That said, you don't so it didn't matter do what else they did. The, I could I could be playing against a Ringman deck that's playing this Trinity Geyser. He he plays out all these cards. I drew dead and have one revoke in like random foundations. I've drawn foundations for five turns, and I have a revoke, and you can't play the game anymore. I mean, how many times have people just died to their opponent having a revoke? I'm, I'm regardless, saying, no, but but what were but. Other things happened that if, game. If I played uh, one of my competitive decks where they revoke my big shot, I don't care because my attacks are going to kill them without me needing the big shots. The big shots are win more. They're just to bait out all the cancer They're insurance. They're insurance. I do, guess. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Disagree. Argue I, with them. I That's mean, fine. I, I disagree. I think that... I don't know. I don't think that just because your deck randomly sometimes gets stopped by revoke means it's a win more deck. Like... There are so many times where people play a deck. Would you consider that a gimmick deck then? I mean... And then, then we can ask the question, do you consider gimmicks win more? How many... So, how many times have people just died to revoke anyways because they're trying to go in and randomly one of their enhances gets stopped by revoke and then they have to... And then not... their opponent lives at like one life? Yes. That's what revoke's supposed to do though. Yeah, but is does that mean that your deck but, is winning? So, so that's different that than stop? what I was saying. No, if we play, if I play a Trinity Geyser to draw three cards and my opponent revokes it, and then my turn ends because I can't do anything. That's what Jacob's saying. I mean, I get it. Yeah, like I'm, but still, if you're losing the game because of revoke in one way, you're losing the game because of revoke in another way. It's the same difference. Well, you don't necessarily lose in the other way. Yeah, you ending your turn, you do lose. I mean, no matter what, you lose I, a turn, you the, lose the game. J Jacob, Jacob's saying that a revoke ends your turn outright, and it isn't like the last thing you're doing in the turn. Anyways, we're kind of team consultant we're, is a win more card. <laughs> we're we're getting off topic by arguing about this. Team consultant is not necessary in anybody's deck ever. Um, team consultant, the after after you fail this check to play the, as your first form this turn, you may add it to your staging area committed in your combat phase and not end. Respond after an attack deals damage. Draw a card. It's a four five with a non block. That card doesn't belong in anybody's <laughs> deck ever. That's true. Yes. How many how many times have have you have you watched your opponent cry because they passed this card? <laughs> it is they hilarious. Pl they play this card and they're like, "No, I passed, <laughs> I, it. I passed it. No, <laughs> I have to play with the card in my card pool." <laughs> yeah, it's it is it doesn't deserve to be in anybody's deck ever. They win more card. Yeah, That's and that is example. that is that is my example of a win more card. Of it's not it's not. So we can talk. We can bring it back. We just got past it. Bringing it back to this thing. Revoke is like the strongest card in the game, right? Um, my the deck that I just won the uh, Collinsville PTC with was hey, if you had to revoke, I lost because um, I only ever got to hold one answer. So, like, that's not very fair. But at the same time, I've got this singular combo that I do. There are, there are more options that you could play. There I have are, a better, I have a better example. Please, if you're playing Trinity Ringman and you never draw a Trinity Geyser, 
How do you win the game? I don't know. You just be a basic all deck. Like, the deck could still kill people outside of drawing Trinity Geyser. I, I didn't see a single person playing that Trinity Geyser deck win a real game of UFS without Trinity Geyser. I mean, I'm sure it had definitely happened. You're, at the end of the day, you're still playing a basic all attack lineup that can kill people. Like, slamming 2-6 on a Magnet Slam could definitely kill people. I don't know. What's the uh, what's the fairy tale action that replaces uh, Prince of Fairy for Coffee Samba? Oh, uh, race against time. Yeah, I think that card's one more. I don't think that card needs to be in anybody's deck. Oh yeah, no, that, that, that. that card's really gimmicky. Mm. Honestly, my my example of win more cards are gimmicks. Anything that's a gimmick is kind of win more. Yeah, yeah. Um, but like. There is that that duality of yeah the, the like oh, like how many times do you have a really cool gimmick wait that happened you did yeah. that on me I'm not prepared for that at all yeah, well I guess exactly. I lost yeah like, like 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 there's there's that's a good one. there's two different kinds of gimmicks I guess there's the gimmick that you aren't expecting and then the gimmick that you know exists <laughs> <laughs> like um uh, uh the best example I can give of the gimmick you know exists was when James Stevens went to this past PTC in Chicago and laid down Goro as his character card and then proceeded to play Airground Smash 40 times. That's a gimmick. I didn't know that existed. And he uh he definitely just took that to the event. That's what he played at at he the w- Chicago he PTC. Went, what? 3 and 3? Yeah, he he went he did not do great, but he also like got food poisoning in the yeah, middle of the tournament. Yeah, he had food poisoning the whole time, so it was like <laughs> He was not thinking straight. Yeah. I have an example of a, of a win more card. Oh, I, wait, 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 let me let me see let me my first. Okay. Night Crusher. <laughs> <laughs> when Liu Kang existed, okay. Yep, yeah. Barrett built this Night Crusher Liu Kang deck, and he was like, "Dude, this deck is the sickest." And I'm like, "Yeah, that is the biggest win more deck mm-hmm, ever." Absolutely. <laughs> because sometimes you could play a Night Crusher that was a three mid for forty damage or something like that because you saw a bunch of things. Or you could just play Neurofatica and put it there, and you still and just win. Kill like, <laughs> I don't know. That that's a good one for me. Raging Dragon Zodiac. It's from the Soul Calibur set. Since that's the newest cards, I figured I'd choose one from there. Sure. It is a combo enhanced with the Foundation, which is a maxi thing. Yeah. Discard X Momentum. Mm-hmm. Ready X Foundations draws cards. I think this card's super cool. Yeah. And I love it. Yeah. But but, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. At most, this thing's this thing maybe says discard three, ready three, draw three. Discard three momentum to ready three foundations, draw three cards. That's that seems kind of good. That's actually really strong. But what's its control check? Five. It's a oh, five it's three. A three. It's, it's a, a five three. three. It's a five three. Yeah, it's a four mid for eight. So in maxi, it's a five mid for eleven. Okay. So like this card's good, but I think I still would consider it a win more card. Yeah. I'm sure there's plenty of other cards. Although somebody's gonna prove me wrong and be like, you have to play this card in Maxi at a four up to win every game with Maxi, and they're gonna go on to like get top eight at Worlds. Shout outs. Do I guess, it to the future. Um, <laughs> and then with Maxi, like to- at least top eight at Worlds, if not win the whole thing with yeah. this fucking card at a four of in their deck, and they're be like, this card is the MVP of my deck, and I'm gonna be like, dude. Fuck yeah. And we could be you, like, you're the ultimate sack. I love it. Because guess what this card is? This card's Trinity Geyser. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Same stats, dude. The, the, this card, this card's literally Trinity <laughs> Geyser, except you have the discard momentum to activate its effect instead of having a very specific combo. And it's less control or less difficulty and better control. I mean, I think... And it is a better... It has a better combo requirement. It has a better block on it, and it is a better combo requirement. The only thing it's missing is the stun keyword. Uh, We can give it that. Geyser had had stun. Yeah, Geyser had stun, too. Yep. Yeah, who cares? It didn't matter. Um... You're so buttered. I, 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 no, but no, but no, but what, 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 I'm, what I'm saying is, I can say this. The only reason I argued with you and said that guys would win more card because this was my example of a win more card, and I think that they're pretty much identical cards. Yeah, they're pretty close. They're very, very similar in what they want to do. Travis, get a thought out, my dude. I still think that Ivy's Ultra Rare is closer to Trinity Geyser than that card is. I'm not saying that Ivy that, that this that this card is va- invalidating your argument that Ivy's ultra rare is a trinity geyser i because th- so, we can have two trinity geysers in the set little did you know and they'll both be bad <laughs> so, i think ivy's ultra rare is fucking nuts I, so i well, also agree playing it i, I all think all of ivy's nuts i think it's yeah i think ivy's ultra <laughs> rare is 
a build around card and like less win more, more build around. Like you're going to build your deck around it if you're going to play it. Ivy's Ultra is set up to pick you up other pieces. So yeah, you, I use that to just draw foundations. You use that, that card as a build around card. It You use that card to build around something else. That card gets you your other pieces for whatever combo you're wanting to play. Yeah. I never use that to actually. I think play Trini it. Trinity Geyser is kind of the same thing if you have two combos in your deck, but then your deck starts to become really gimmicky, so it's like, can't really do that. So, Travis. I feel like the last two topics, people have been picking on you. <laughs> it's I want to make sure that you get you get everything out that you want. Nah. Is there and and we appreciate you being such a such a beautiful sport and like having a conversation. I think it's been one of the best podcasts we've had in a bit because like we've had like a bit of bit of a heater it's argument. Because I'm here. It's because Mason Johnson's here, you know? Man without a title. The man with many titles. The man with a million titles. Do I have that many titles? Are hey, you gonna come to nationals and team with me and Jerry? So we can be the Triple Johnson team? Oh, yeah, because he's Middle mind. Johnson. I forgot. He's middle Johnson. Yeah. <laughs> so my, my question... I apologize, J-Ray, if you see this. My question... He doesn't watch our content. We suck. Mm, my question is, Travis, do you have an example of a win more card? I don't think you've actually shared one. Uh, I haven't, but... Please say Trinity Certainly Geyser. not Trinity Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> he was just butthurt that we said it before him. That was the whole reason. So I think a perfect example of a win more card is... Actually, Nightmares Ultra Rare. Yes. Yeah. Perfect example of a win more card Perfect. is Nightmares Ultra Rare. Can and you explain why? To so the good people. You can you can kill people without that card. It just kills them. Yes, faster. Missile Launcher exists. Yes. In any symbol that Missile Launcher has, if you show me an Ultra Rare, I will most likely tell you it's a win more card because it's not as good as Missile Launcher. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Which I don't know if that's a problem with game design or missile launcher. Or... Missile launcher. That's the problem with You know it. what? Yes. You know what this card looks like? Hashtag oh, some fun time. Hyper chain drive. Hashtag <laughs> ban, <laughs> missile ban missile way launcher. Ban missile launcher. Way better. Hyper chain, Hyper chain, chain drive. drive. <laughs> Why Please. I know. Please ban launcher. Please ban launcher. Please. Is that is that the push wheel that everybody's in so, now? I want everything it on the so existence. Bad. I yeah. want it so bad. Up. Uh, I, I mean, your statement that you just made is we, the only reason I really need to know. We but. can talk about it after the cast. Okay. It's yeah. a different different. It is a different topic. topic. Um, a topic that we've brought up every show. So I believe we've talked about Revoke and Missile Launcher in all four of our podcasts today. Yes. I agree. They're the best two cards in the game. Crazy. One uh, stops the other. No, nope, not really. No. <laughs> missile Launcher. There's multiple enhances on the Missile, missile Launcher. Launcher. kicks the shit out of Revoke. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Discard what? a card. That didn't have a block on it anyways. <laughs> Wait, you you discarded that card to cancel my stun? I guess I'll just give speed then. Oh, oh shucks. Sure. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and uh, get out of here. I guess I'm where I got to be. Um, and Tyler wants to edit this podcast because he has work tomorrow. So, yeah. with that, thank you very much for watching the content. We greatly appreciate it. Thank sure. you guys for being here. M Mason? This is a blast, dude. This is abs this is this was fucking great, man. We record every Wednesday. You are more than welcome. Open invite. Show up in my house somewhere sometime after four o'clock. Maybe I won't be taking a nap. I definitely was today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I am at the point now where I almost never close at work anymore, so I never have to work past five thirty. So red, red, red. Yeah. We'd so love to see you. Something might be happening. And if Abby wants to come on, she's more than welcome to as well. I don't know what her schedule's like. She can sit in one of these chairs, too. Or not. I don't care. That's up to her. That is totally up to her. Let her know, though. I will. So, with that, thank you very much, you guys, for uh, watching the content. Um, go out to Patreon. Do all the cool stuff. Um, and most importantly, stay learnt. Get learnt. Ben learnt. Get bent. See you guys. Wait, is that the new... <laughs> no. Dang! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>